Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. It's uh, it's gonna be an amazing day and I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. You may wonder why I'm standing in front of this cage right here. Yeah, the arboreal cage. Well, we're gonna go ahead and fixture this one out a little bit because we have another unboxing today. Like I mentioned, almost every day until we open, which is just like, what, five days away or something like that, we're gonna have new animals coming in. Dream animals, amazing animals. So the first thing I've gotta do is actually get this cage kind of set up, fixture it out with a bunch of foliage, get it ready, cleaned up, stuff like that. And then here pretty soon we got a shipment coming in. We're going to be able to unbox it together and uh, release the animal. I mean, this is uh, dreams are coming true every day for me. It's getting closer. Friday the 13th is coming up. The opening weekend is going to be amazing. And hopefully the majority, if not all the cages, will be filled with really insane animals that, again, like I mentioned before, these aren't just normal animals for you. These are like dream animals. I mean, things I've been dreaming about for 10, 20 years. So uh, let's just go ahead and work on this enclosure and get on to unboxing. All right, again, you know, just for now, that's the beginning of it. We'll probably do some live plants down in the bottom at some point. I'll get this going. Definitely gonna have a misting system on this cage because again, it's an arboreal animal that needs high humidity. Gonna put misting on a handful of other enclosures. So uh, for now, this is good. Box has arrived, so let's go ahead and just get into this unboxing. And here we go. All right, day two of crazy unboxing. And of course, uh, the next couple days, we are getting stuff from my friend Kevin over at Nerd. Uh, he's always got amazing animals. So let's go ahead and see what he sent us right here. I mean, I know what it is, obviously, but uh, I'm excited to actually see it. Again, one of those animals that I've been kind of dreaming about since I was young. You know, I say that all the time. I guess there's a lot of animals, but open here. I wonder what that means. Why would, why would he do that? Oh, you a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> the guys over at Nerd, they're always wanting to play little games on me. That's a cute little spider though. So they don't realize that I'm not really afraid of spiders anymore. So uh, thanks guys over at Nerd, I appreciate that. And of course, here we have it. The lone bag, I wanna make sure there's nothing else in here. Ooh, nice and warm, packed very good, so that's amazing. I tell you what guys, this is crazy cool. I mean, I have thought about this animal forever. And really, again, a lot of the animals that I'm getting, much like the albino iguanas, the ones I'm gonna be getting over the next several days, I've made mention of this before, where you know they just didn't make sense in the past, right? So for me to get animals that uh, just didn't work into our facility, uh, just didn't work, right? So now that we have the Reptarium, we can kind of say, hey, let's just work with animals we love, right? It doesn't matter. We want people to love them as much as we do. We want them to look good. We want to be able to be interacted with, but this particular animal may not be interacted with, but it's still gonna look amazing in that arboreal cage. And let's just go ahead and take a peek. Oh my gosh, holy cow, that is ridiculous. Oh, come on, little monkey, let's go. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, of course. This is, you know, you've guys seen that I have emerald tree boas, but this is actually an Amazon basin. Oh my gosh, this is like the pinnacle of the tree boas. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, again, Amazon tree boas are 10 times, 15, 20 times more rare than the normal emerald tree boas, so wow. You can always tell the basin by that huge white dorsal striping that makes them incredible. And this one is an absolute gorgeous one. And again, sticking with what I've been saying, I've been trying to get smaller animals. This is probably about two years old, so it's gonna be around a long time. I don't wanna get a bunch of animals that are huge and old and then you know in the next five six seven years they may not be around right something like this could last another 20 25 years with us so i am super excited about it it is gorgeous let me know down in the comments what you guys think what do you say we get over and put this in its new enclosure and again guys holding an animal like this has been uh, a dream of mine you know obviously i've seen a bunch of them but i've never thought that i would actually own an amazon basin emerald i'm just so happy to have one here at the new reptarium expansion and i hope that people that come will enjoy it as much as I have and realized how absolutely incredible it is to be able to see an animal like this. Wow. And this is a little girl. Needs a name, of course. Go ahead and down in the comments and let me know what you guys think. And uh, I tell you what, guys, I feel so lucky.
lucky. I feel so overwhelmed with just the, how amazing things are right now. And I realize that without you guys, this couldn't have happened. So you're really a part of it. And I hope that you're enjoying the journey. And I hope sometime you can come visit me. If not, you can just kind of watch along because everybody that watches comments, you know, visits. I mean, you guys are all a part of this. Without you, this couldn't happen. So uh, let's just get this girl in her new cage. Here we go guys. I'm assuming she's going to spend a lot of time right up here because there's a basking area. She can be here, she can be here, she can even get a little bit lower because every now and then emerald tree bows will cool off a little bit so I wanted to give her plenty of heat gradient and stuff like that. And you got to remember that this enclosure almost didn't exist, right? I asked you guys what you thought. Should we make this enclosure? And you guys really overwhelmingly said I should. Uh, and here we are. We have the enclosure. Now we have an uh, Amazon basin in there. Unbelievable. And look at it already just kind of cuddling in there. Uh, it's it's crazy. I mean like ridiculous just step back for a second and look at that enclosure I mean it is crazy. I mean it looks like it's just carved into the side of this rock sitting there It's just I mean she is just so gorgeous. I mean uh, guys it's ridiculous. I mean, I am blown away. Look at how beautiful that white is and that yellow popping through the belly. And oh my gosh, it looks so alert. And oh gosh, I'm so lucky to have good friends like Kevin over there too. So it's uh, it's it's crazy. And again, we'll continue to make this enclosure better and better. You know, again, with some live plants, misting systems, you know, whatever happens to me, whatever she's going to feel the best with. So uh, I think she's going to love it and she's going to look amazing. So I'm going to just sit back, spend some time admiring this beauty. My friend Steve Bashy from Bashy Aquatics is in the house working on the spas. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you. I'm going to put a link in the description to all his social and everything like that. If you need life support or anything cool when it comes to what, do you, what else do you do? I do a lot. Of, I do play drums. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, what else can we buy from you? That's it. Life That's support. That's it. Yeah. Life support. Okay, cool. Anything, anything filtered. <laughs> all right. So he's got a great Life company. Seriously, uh, definitely uh, link in the description. Go show him some love for helping me out. I really appreciate it. Lucy did it again, blew up her cage, pooped in her water, did all the things that Lucy is so good at doing. You remember last time she was not in a good mood. Uh, I have no idea what to expect today. We're gonna go in, we're gonna get her out of here and then get her cage cleaned up, so wish me luck. Lucy, how are you feeling today? And you know, I'll be honest with you, Typically, as soon as I come in the cage, I can see her mannerism, right? Her mannerism isn't immediately to kind of pop up and come at me. So I think she's going to be in a good mood. I could be completely wrong, but let's just see what she does. Lucy, okay, girl? Yeah, see, she's not got that like really aggressive posturing on me. A little bit, but not too bad. Uh, she might be getting a little bit crazy. Oh, yep, yeah, she's bad. It's okay, baby. It's all right. Unfortunately, she's not in the greatest of spots here. So I'm going to just kind of sit in here and just hope I can get her without her. Come on, baby. Now I'm committed. All right, come on, girl. Not too bad. She's doing a little bit better than I expected. But see how she's, she's oh, messed up now? All right, now she's moving. As long as the snake is moving, you're typically pretty good. All right, come on, big girl. Come on, big girl. There you go. And because we're gonna soak her just to get that last little shed off her. We all know that Lucy loves the water. So I can just kind of plop her in the water and she can usually, whoop, where are you going? Where are you going? She's on the loose. Oh, I lost the shoe. <laughs> Come on, big girl. All right, there you go. Let's stay in the water, girl. There, stay in the water, girl. Stay in the water. 
Again, she just changes her disposition so much when she's in the water. She loves it. Definitely, maybe my next expansion, I'm gonna have to make an enclosure where she can swim like Ivy, because I think she would utilize it a lot. Yeah, and I lost my shoe, so all good here. Bruce gonna get the cage cleaned up. I'm gonna get back to work on stuff on the expansion. So uh, I guess I got the uh, lovely honor of doing this mamma jamma. So uh, I, yeah, I got I got a little bit of a little bit of work ahead of me on the uh, on the Lucy poop here. Wow. I mean, things are coming at us so quick here, getting ready for this open, but uh, Lori ordered these. I hadn't really uh, even known what she was doing, but these are little Reptarium keychains, and I love them. I tell you, these are so yeah. dope. They came out so good. They did. Oh God, you guys so some of this stuff will be available on our website, Reptarium.com. You know, stuff that's like branded to us, like the snake skin jewelry, the Reptarium, Chains. doing posters of the mural. You know, so there'll be a bunch of stuff like that that will be, uh, the other stuff will only be here at the gift shop, but the key keychains turn out dope. All right, back to Lucy and seeing if we can get her in. Ooh, she looks a little bit touchy right now. You okay, girl? You all right, sweetie? Oh, okay, she's all right. Just the way she was laying, I was like, oh my God, this does not look good at all. See if uh, just a little bit of skin on her neck here. Whoop, there you go, baby. It's all right. I don't know if this is like just laying on there or if it's actually attached. She's definitely a big girl. Just gonna try to get that little bit of shit on her. Head there, there it goes. Got her out there. All right, baby, back in. There you go, sweetheart. She looks so gorgeous after she's all shed out and looking beautiful and cage's all nice and clean. She's ready to go and there she goes up into her tree, just like she always does. <laughs> it's bizarre. I've just never seen a snake that is just always does the same thing. Like it's, uh, it's crazy, you know, definitely obsessive compulsive, but uh, she's amazing, beautiful. She didn't give me a bad time getting back so uh, Nice to see Lucy back in what I consider to be a pretty good mood. You know, with all this build with the Reptarium, uh, I gotta sometimes come over and just play with the animals over here. Of course, the Colubrids. This is just an Everglades rat snake. That's beautiful. It's actually head for Ghost Glades right here. Uh, these guys all get their first meal in just a few more days. So it's busy times. I mean, we're just a handful of days away from the open. Take a look at this Blaze going eye right here, Blotch King. These guys come out unbelievably red and beautiful as babies. So these guys are all gonna be eating in a few days. Uh, opening comes up in just a handful of days wow it's just insane look at this albino nelson's milk it's going to be really cool to have these guys back feeding getting them breeding we're going to have eggs before you know it and uh it's absolutely incredible but again it's super exciting that we're on the 13th we open the grand opening and it is getting so close now so i hope that you guys have enjoyed the journey will join me on the journey as we get more animals and stuff like that uh been an amazing day again tomorrow we have some incredible unboxing i'm doing a podcast right here it's called checking and you can subscribe to it if you don't mind over here you can run through a playlist of vlogs subscribe to the vlog channel over here turn those post notifications on have a wonderful day be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you tomorrow